Hey Don, I wanted to go ahead and show you some products, uh, different things that I use to start to build the bite uh, with pups. Um, really the key thing to kind of that I like to keep in mind when I'm doing it and when I'm picking new products, uh, this is some stuff I just got recently off of Amazon. Um, but uh, the one thing I do like to keep in mind is how I'm going to progress the bite. And if we step back and look, even without introing what any of the products actually are and how we're going to go ahead and use them, which I'm sure you know what most of these are, uh, with the exception of maybe one you haven't seen before, you can easily see a clear progression of how we're going to, like we do everything else in training, make it easy for the dog to transition to tougher or more difficult tasks. Uh, here, um, we literally just have a pillow minus any of like the real considerable stuffing inside of it like this pillow which I know you have a few of these that we will you know that we occasionally use with rock uh, to get back into kind of building that full mouth bite but I like to start with something like this which is obviously smaller um, uh, you know just easier for the dog to get a hold of and it's real thin uh, a lot of people at this stage uh, will skip this bit and we'll just go straight to like a towel type thing. I'm sure you've seen those, um, uh, you know, nothing fancy because at this point we're just enticing the dog to bite. We're making him feel comfortable biting and we're already starting to build that confidence um, that, you know, will later transition uh, and will really be helpful when getting the dog to do other tasks on the bite. But um, yeah, it's just as simple as this uh, and, and we'll go over more specific kind of confidence building exercises, uh, how to uh, really start to build that drive, really start to build the civil drive uh, from the start, which uh, isn't as hard as you might think and uh, it is a lot of fun, especially I think that's the most fun thing working with puppies. But yeah, we'll just start to build a bite, let him maybe he'll only have canines on, that's fine. Like I said, this bit is really just to get him comfortable. Then I, in, in both of the, all three of these here, are all from Redline Canine. On Amazon, I think it was under 150, if I remember correctly. Um, so not too much, and they hold up. These last, I've had this brand before, and uh, they do make it quite the ways. But yeah, I mean, we just transition here, getting the dog confident, getting the dog biting. Um, like I said, whether it just be canines, we're really just building confidence at this point. Once we get, once the dog's to the size, which it's gonna happen quick with, um, any of our bully breeds, uh, we start to move over here, and this is where we really start to build the full mouth bite. This is where uh, we start to kind of compete back. This is where we really build that prey drive, that bite, um, and then it's just as easy as going onto the wedge. Now we're really perfecting the dog's uh, full mouth bite and the hold is what we're really getting on, and I love, um, these are super stable, and I like the, uh, the three handles rather than the two. Um, I guess all that's just personal preference. And then the brilliant thing that I like, a lot of people skip this. This is a puppy sleeve. At least that's what I call it. I know there's a million names for everything, depending on where you're at. This is from uh, Dean and Tyler. They sell different packages. These are definitely on the low end, um, price-wise and quality-wise. Uh, but it, they last, and uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, it's, it's not a bad bet, but, uh, this can be used, absolutely be used as a, um, wedge, just the same as that. If you look at them side by side, however, once we're done with this and we, we kind of, well, I guess we're never done with it, but once we, we have instilled that full mouth bite, we'll move on to this and see if it can be in shot. We can actually wear it and just make it easier for the dog to transition onto a full sleeve. And that's really the whole point of this. Uh, it's used uh, in succession or, I mean, you know, it's just right after and can be used in conjunction with the wedge itself. Uh, and then, of course, I mean, we've got our tugs targeting, uh, you know, and uh, working on that. Uh, but, yeah, really what we need to keep in mind when we're working with pups, when we're building the bite, and, and even despite even despite puppies, it doesn't need to be a puppy. Um, I mean, any dog that we're building a bite on, we want to have a solid progression of 
of, of our tools, of our equipment, and the things we're going to use. We need to make it as easy as possible for the dogs. Um, and it's going to progress training a lot faster. It's going to be easier. And uh, even with this, with the brands, I do, uh, as much as possible, try to stick with similar companies. Um, it could, you know, just be uh, uh, completely um, uh, anthropomorphic, but I do think that it does make it, you know, they're the same, same material, the same bags, everything's the same. So, uh, you know, a lot less on our end has to go into it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll add links at the bottom of the video to, uh, you know, directly where I got these. If, if you like these, um, you may already have this equipment. Uh, you know, they do sell everything individually, so that's fine. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the session. We'll um, we'll go ahead and get the pup started. I can show you some things that you can do to really build confidence, which is ultimately going to build drive. Uh, get the dog civil, get the dog um, rewarded for that prey drive, and we'll start to build commands. We'll, st we'll, start, to, we'll start to harness, um, you know, everything that later on is, is going to be so crucial and, uh, and what we're going to need uh, to get, get the pup to do. All right, man. Hope you liked it.